to work, soldiers. I am straight with time to work, baby. How we doing, folks? It's your boy Marcos Wasteland Wednesday, the first ghost edition. How about that? I'm gonna try to keep this as positive as I can. I promised myself I wasn't gonna say anything negative about ghosts and whatnot. Look at all those perks I have, because I don't know what else to do with all this stuff. I have no idea. Drop the second there. Get that thing out of here. We don't want that. Okay, main positive going on for Ghost right now. This first day, this is my first one of my first games over here. We're playing some team deathmatch. Uh, tomorrow video, we're going to go negative. We're going to go a little bit negative Nancy over there. But the positives we got going on on Ghost. Uh, the maps. I've been fairly surprised and pleasant by the maps. First off, they're bigger. Hallelujah. I was reading, um, I think it was for IGN maybe, the review that they gave it. And they said it was a negative that the maps were so big. I was like, get the hell out of here. Like, no, thank goodness gracious. You got somewhere to spawn. You got somewhere to move. I haven't had too many crazy spawn kills right there. And over there... I'm not being an idiot. My housemate like came in. She was talking to me, so I, like I kind of got distracted. I had to take my headset off and stuff. But luckily, she moved out of the room. I had to explain to her that you know when we're playing Call of Duty, we don't really talk to people. You know, we leave them alone, let them do their own thing right there. I knew somebody was telling me another positive over here. You could hear everything. I take that as a positive or a negative. There is dead signs to help you out, you know, so they don't hear you. But to me, that's beautiful. And I'm not. I wasn't even using awareness at this time. If you put awareness on, you could hear way too much. Um, and then when Miley and that guy over there, and they had a bad spawn over there, we managed to get this little chopper, the Super Huey, they called it, which there isn't too much Super about it, to tell you the truth. But tomorrow's negative day. Today's positive. In positive day, we're going to acknowledge that the maps have colors. How about that? Infinity Ward figured out that there's such thing as a color palette. Now, they still are a little bit duller compared to, you know, your grinds and your rushes from uh, Black Ops 2. Um, but for the most part, they have color. And the most, the color I think that is used the most in this game, which is kind of strange, is green. Everything is green. There is green all over the place. There are plants growing out of everywhere. Green is green and everywhere. And green's beautiful, so I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. And SC4 get that man who did it. I don't even know. I can't tell because the kill feed's up top. We're going to leave the negatives for tomorrow. Uh, but the map's been really good. And this is probably my... I'm not going to say it's my favorite map. Uh, and that's like kind of what Recon does right there. You see that like highlight around. And I was a little bit disappointed as to Recon's thing. But tomorrow's a negative day. Um... But yeah, the recon just kind of gives them the highlight thing. I think this is the same thing like the Odin. Uh, I'm not going to say the Odin. Not the Odin. There's another the Oracle. There you go. There's another word with the O. There's like some sort of Oracle streak that allows you to kind of see these guys highlighted through walls and whatnot. It's interesting. I'm not going to say it's positive or negative yet, but it's interesting. Oh, man, he died so quickly. God, I just got to get that one out of the way. We're going to hear that one so many times and so many videos coming forward, man. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, but the maps have been pretty good uh, in terms of, you know, and I think I've played most of them. There might be one or two that I haven't played. Uh, but Flooded right here was probably my first map that I did really good on that I really enjoyed. Um, I like the water dynamic of it, you know, that half the map's kind of flooded, half isn't. I don't like that you could drown in it. I, not so much that you could drown, that's fair. But you could duck under it and you could be under it. That's cool. Um, but there's a part a little bit like kind of towards the middle of the map over there. We you know when I was when I got to Super Huey, like if you looked out there, um, and over there, you, I kind of just fell in, down in the water, and I really couldn't get out. I had one of my games, and I was like, what the hell is this? But aside from that part, everything else was groovy over here. We're using the, the first assault rifle that we get, the SGC-2000 or SOC-2010 or some nonsense like that. I didn't really care too much about the name. Um, it works. It gets the job done. I'm not, you know, thrown back by it. It's not a FAMAS, but it's it's I. Right. Um, most people have been using the Honey Badger. That's the one I, everyone's been telling me is awesome. It comes incorporated with a silencer. I've used it. I'm not that impressed by it, uh, but you know, take my take what I say for a grain of salt. Uh, we're playing over here at TDF, but the map's been the, mo the main reason that, that you know I've kind of been sticking through this early initial start of the game because I haven't been too too impressed. It's not bad. Don't take my word for it. It's not bad. Um, it's just different. Um, it's very different. I kind of have to get used to it. Um, it's a lot more difficult to get kill streaks, and that's something I'll talk about right now, just because that's neither bad nor good. It's just something different. Um, you know, I always felt in Black Ops 2 it was very easy to get kill streaks. You know, throw a couple of EMP grenades over here, run into a couple tags over here, take a hard point over there, and before you know it, you got yourself a, a V-set. I get it. It would have been a little bit too easy over there. They want to make it a little more difficult. That's fine. I'm all for the challenge. No problems. Um, but it, it, I'm not... I, my issue with this is when playing, and this is why I'm playing Team Deathmatch, for example, when playing a game like Kill Confirmed, I feel like you should be rewarded for, you know, being a team player. So, you know, you get the tags get maybe not the 100 points i can understand that uh, but you know keep that score system intact just maybe bump down the amount of tag uh, the amount of the tags are worth and play it off that making it more difficult now you don't get shit for captain flags you don't i'm pretty sure you don't get any captain flags you don't get shit i can tell you, you don't get shit for getting uh, a tag 
so whatever um and i i just don't know why we went away from that idea why we shied away from the idea of rewarding team players that's not a bad thing just give them one little more uh you know one little more um line over there towards your kill streaks and whatnot um, so that's a little bit it's not a negative or positive it's just different it's something that you have to get used to and it makes things a little more difficult um, in terms of getting your kill streaks and playing along those lines um, but it's not impossible to get kill streaks you know there's yeah, I mean, you saw I got that chop. I think that's a nine kill streak right there. Yeah, it's a nine. Uh, so it's possible. It's feasible. It's a little bit different. It's a the whole game's a little bit different. I've been really. It's I think it's a higher learning curve than uh, than I remember having from Black Ops 2, for example. Um, it's good. But tomorrow, there's some bad things we got to get off a of chest over here. But for now, 33-7, first wasteland Wednesday. We are excited to be back. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.